My name is Anthony Schindler, and I'm the pastor of Emmanuel Baptist Church here in Hannibal, Missouri. Whatever you know about the gospel, you probably associate it with church stuff. The word gospel simply means good news. So I want to share with you what the good news is. The good news is all about God's plan to bring salvation to the world that He created. When God originally created the world, He made it perfectly, with no defect or fault. Everything was precisely as God had intended. But the Bible tells us in Genesis 3 that sin entered into the world and fractured everything. Sin is what we call anything that breaks from God's design for His perfect world. Throughout Scripture, we learn about God's plan to rescue His people from the sin that now infected the whole creation. The Old Testament is full of accounts of faithful men and women who looked forward to a day when God would ultimately make good on His promise to save creation. That promise would take the form of God providing His beloved Son to save us from our sin. The New Testament opens with a series of accounts of a first century Jew named Jesus. This Jesus was in fact the promised Son of God who would save us. As a man, Jesus spent his life in pursuit of showing the rest of humanity that he was in fact the perfect Son of God who was sent into the world to fulfill God's plan. God's plan was that Jesus would live a perfect life and then die a substitutionary death for us. When this had taken place, God would raise His Son back to life to show that the penalty of death would no longer be levied against His creation. Hebrews 4 tells us that Jesus was a man who was tempted just like any other human, yet He never sinned. Jesus was special. Jesus was not only special because He never sinned, but also because He chose to pay a debt that we owed to God. And this debt that we owed required a sacrifice of His life to be paid. From John 10, we read that Jesus would willingly lay down his life for those who owed a debt that they could not repay. So Jesus was put on trial and then sentenced to death through crucifixion on a Roman cross. As Jesus drew his last breath, he proclaimed, it is finished. God's plan to heal and rescue his creation was reaching its culmination. Jesus would be buried, but three days later, God raised him from the dead. The debt had been paid, and we had been freed from our brokenness. Because Jesus took on the penalty that we deserve, we can now return to God and be saved. Romans 10 tells us that if we recognize Jesus as Lord of our lives and confess that God raised him from the dead, then we will be saved. God's good news is that we don't have to stay in our brokenness. He has made a way for us to be made whole again. This way was through his son, Jesus. My hope for you is that you will respond to this invitation that Jesus makes to you. God desires to have a relationship with you, and your first step is to respond in faith to this invitation. Trust that he has paid the debt that you owed. Trust that Jesus saved you from your sin. If you would like to talk more about what it means to trust in Jesus, or to talk to us about a decision that you've made, click on the I'm new button and fill out the form, and we will get back with you as soon as possible. Thank you for visiting us online and for taking a moment to learn more about the gospel of Jesus Christ.